Um, and finally, what about productivity, productivity applications? Well, we're big users of Microsoft CRM here. We happen to like it very much. We actually use two uh, different things. The one thing we use is uh, Microsoft uh, uh, Contact Manager for Outlook, Business Contact Manager for Outlook uh, 2007. We use that here internally because um, it's, it, it's a very powerful contact manager actually it's absolutely free with certain versions of Microsoft Office it works right lives right inside of Outlook and I use it because it integrates with our accounting program more than anything else it integrates with my accounting program so I can uh, I can right click on an account and then create an invoice a quote whatever right there very very nicely um, so we use that now that runs on a uh, an SQL database uh, and it, it's uh, we have that actually running on a set another server uh, using uh, uh, SQL 2005 and uh, our accounting program which is Microsoft Office uh, professional lives on that uh, same server and they're sharing the same database it's kind of interesting but the accounting uh, system will integrate Business Contact Manager and it, it combines the database into one big database. Um, so that's why we use Business Contact Manager. But if you're getting started out and you don't have a CRM application, customer relationship management, if you don't have one, if you're considering something like ACT or possibly uh, uh, some other products out there. Take a look at Business Contact Manager for Outlook. You cannot buy it separately. I'll tell you that now. Don't even try. It's not out there. You, it comes with different versions of Office. Um, I think the professional version, um, there's a small business edition. Look for the version of Office that comes with uh, Business Contact Manager for Outlook. Uh, it's going to give you pretty good contact management. It's not going to be as robust as the Microsoft Dynamics CRM that uh, we also use. But, you know, I think for smaller companies, 5, 10, 15 people type organizations, provided you're not doing really, really sophisticated workflows and stuff, probably all you're going to need.